Mr. Emoto became terribly interested in the molecular structure of water and what affects it. Now, water is the most receptive of the four elements. Mr. Emoto thought perhaps it would respond to non-physical events. So he set up a series of studies, applied mental stimuli, and photographed it with a microscope. For one sample of water, we drop about 0.5 cc's onto each 50 petri dishes. Then we take those 50 petri dishes and freeze them in a freezer at minus 25 degrees Celsius for about three hours. We take those frozen samples into a refrigerator that is set at minus 5 degrees Celsius, where a microscope with a camera is set up. There we take photographs of each of the 50 water drops individually. We first take photographs of water that we did not put any information in. Then, we take the water with information and do the same procedure just described. We take those before and after photographs and compare the differences. When we projected the feeling of love and thanks to water, it made the most beautiful crystal. At times like this, I think water is at peace. This first picture is a picture of water from the Fujiwara Dam. And this picture is the same water after receiving a blessing from a Zen Buddhist monk. Now in this next series of pictures, Mr. Emoto printed out words, taped them to bottles of distilled water, and left them out overnight. This first photograph is a picture of the pure distilled water, just the essence of itself. These subsequent photographs, as you can see, are each different. This is the chi of love. And we move along here to thank you. And you can see where he taped that uh, to this bottle here. But if you read Japanese, you already knew that. <laughs> now, Mr. Emoto speaks of the thought or intent being the driving force in all of this. The science of how that actually affects the molecules is unknown, except to the water molecules, of course. And it's really fascinating when you keep in mind that 90% of our bodies are water. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? If thoughts can do that to water, imagine what our thoughts can do to us.